Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. Changing someone's life right there before you, especially someone who uh, gave service to our country uh -huh. and nobody helps them out after yeah. that. Uh -huh. So th that must shift your life every day. I mean, seeing all these people's lives uh -huh. that you change, it's really incredible work. Uh -huh. I mean, you're doing God's work, it's spiritual work. Uh -huh. How many people do you see a day or how many surgeries can uh -huh. you do a day? Depending on the complexity of the case, you know, I work on a lot of pediatric and small children up to, you know, I, I may work on a kid who's 10 weeks old and, and work on a 99-year-old person on this, in the same day. Mm. But depending on the day, I'll typically do anywhere from five surgeries to five? 14 surgeries a day. You can do day. 14 surgeries in a mm -hmm. day? Depends on the, what the case is. How long is each <laughs> surgery? It depends. I'll usually start surgery every morning around 6.30 a.m. and then we'll operate through lunch time. And my average surgery, depending on the case, will go anywhere from 10 minutes up to maybe four hours, depending on the complexity of the case. And then we'll probably see another 30 to 40 consults after I do surgery. So we'll work about 12 hour days every day. Do you work five days a week? I work five days a week, yes. Okay. Sometimes I'll take Monday off. Wow, so that's mm -hmm. 20 to 40 or so surgeries a week. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you do for sleep? <laughs> yeah. How do you, what do you do for self-care? What do you do to mm -hmm. take care of yourself? Yeah. You Sometimes know, when you give back so much, you have to give to yourself. Otherwise, that someday you're going to lose it. They say dentists are one of the number one professions <laughs> where you kill yourself. Great. Suicide. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. what do you do for yourself? You know, I, I do, in my personal life, I do a lot of traveling on mm -hmm. the weekends. Um, but you know, you really have to plan this ahead. You know, I mean, I have a I have a social responsibility to my patients to be well rested and be alert and ready for surgery the next day. So I'm very disciplined about going home and having dinner and, and reading and going to bed at a decent hour. I mean, that's just something I've disciplined myself and people around me in my life know this about me. So there's not a lot of peer pressure and temptation for me to do things that is distractive from what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I heard through a couple of surgeon friends of mine mm -hmm. that a majority of them do a lot of coke. Is that okay. true? Yes, yes, well, see, we're, stay up. I'm from, just, I'm from Kentucky and I live in Texas. I, I've, I've never even seen somebody do cocaine really? before. Really? Yeah, okay. I've worked on plenty of patients okay. that partake in that, <laughs> granted. Um, no, luckily I, I'm very, type A personality when it comes mm -hmm. to life and I'm very energetic and I hope to be doing this for a very long time and I'm excited about what I'm doing. And the thing is, if you love what you're doing, if you love going to work every single day, it doesn't make you a morning person, it just makes you a happy person. And you know, those people who need cocaine to do their job need to have reevaluate their life exactly mm -hmm. yes and, and, and my friends and everyone says oh before you, you if you ever want plastic surgery or whatever you better talk to them about that and see if they're one of those doctors i'm like oh my god so i got to fly to texas if yeah. i want it i would love to yes. hear their answer yes yes, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, so where do you see yourself in five years yeah or 10 years or 20 years from now yeah you know i'd like to say that 10 or 15 or 20 years from now i'm going to retire move out here to LA and just live the good life. Mm -hmm. But I don't see it's myself- It's impossible. It, Once yeah. you've touched lives, you mm -hmm. get addicted to that. Yeah, I don't see myself doing that. The one thing I do see us doing is I expanding the, the business and the brand. And like I said, we're looking at going to Dubai and overseas and- Why Dubai? You know, I, I just think, I think Dubai is, is a growing market right now. Mm -hmm. I think the, the big surgeries that we do that allow us to do the free surgeries, we can definitely do in Dubai is from a financial standpoint. And, you know, I think just the outreach of what we're doing, spreading the word. Are you kind of doing a Doctors Without Borders over there with your company? So mm -hmm. you're going there and doing some free work or is that for No, pay? no, no, absolutely. We go over there, we would continue the same philosophy okay. that we have here in the United States. Everybody in Dubai aren't rich and everybody mm -hmm. in the world has basic human rights. And like I said, one of those human rights is the ability to eat. And so I think by setting this example to other doctors that do what I do, we can help kind of service some of these people. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being no, here. Thank you I really so much. appreciate it. All right, thank you. Doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm.